Hi everyone, it's Justine here from House of Mahalo. Thanks so much for joining me. So this is part three of making the little golden book journal that we've been doing together. Um, so just to recap as to where I've got to then. So I've done all of the gilding. Can you see all that nice gold? Um, I think the camera is a little bit low, so um, hopefully you can see that okay. So I've done the golding, uh, gilding, uh, I've added the lace, so I went with this red lace on the front and on the back. And I think I did the same lace on the inside. Yes, same lace front and back on the inside as well, just to finish those edges off. Um, of course, I found the whole journal in. There's a, a five hole pamphlet stitch with the two signatures. I added an eyelet to the top middle here and of course the closure eyelets. Sorry about the ring light and the shininess. Um, and just some ribbon to do that. Uh, this eyelet is for the tassel, which uh, I've got somewhere. I made this on video last year. I was just waiting for a Christmas journal to put it in. So that's going to look really fab down the side. Uh, I think that was everything I did. I mean, the main thing was, yeah, getting both journals bound in. Um, I've left the strings long because I don't know what I'm doing with those yet. I may I may add charms, I, I may not. I'm not 100%. So I thought we would have just one video um, on uh, filling the journal, just so you can get a flavour for how I'm doing it and what I'm using and how I'm going about it. So, um, on the front covers, I've got two of these uh, poems. So I'm going to have one on each signature cover and then I'm also going to put uh, ruffles down there but um, I'll sort that out after. What I want to start off with doing is um, find the pages that need things covering up. Um, so you know in this journal we've got you know bits of text like that which we might want to cover up. Um, I've used envelopes that have my name and my address on as you know <laughs> so um, things like that really. So I'm just going to find the first page that, you know, has something like that. And that's kind of how I start with journals like this, where it's a bit of a hodgepodge of different things. I start with the pages that want things covering up, sorting out, etc. Um, so, for example, we have this, Happy Christmas. I could leave that, or I could turn this into a um, usable space which for that I'm just going to see what uh, scraps of card I've got so bear with me I've got a load of stuff to in front of me and to my left um, I'm just going to pull out some strips that might work as um, like belly bands that's what I'm looking for I think so I'm just looking for small pieces that we could use. So I'll just grab a few of those. Um, see what we got. Got a bunch of strips here. So I've got some red checks, some holly. Let's see what we feel about these. So when I come to do this sort of stuff, I'm just looking for what it's going with. So I like that I can see the red here. Um, bit of red there. Yellow and green and red on the left so that's a possibility we could do something a bit bigger I think that's probably too big but it can be cut down we could do presents which I quite like the idea of I think I will go presents so I'm just going to grab my uh, trimmer and I'm just going to just pop this onto my other side so uh, Width-wise, this is pretty spot on. So I just need to take a slither off the side of it. I'm just going to do that quickly. I'm not a measurer, <laughs> so I may have to do that a couple of times. How's that? Yeah. Uh, and then I think I'll just go with like an inch or something. Maybe a bit bigger than an inch just so that it can then fit a nice embellishment on it or something just got a little bit of uh, 
um, something hanging off there, so I'm just going to cut that off. Uh, so this is the first like proper video I'm doing in my new setup. Um, I did do a Travel Tuesday episode uh, earlier today, um, which was just making um, some fabric clusters. Um, this one is a bit more pressure. Um, so if I'm a bit weird with placement and things, then it's just because I'm getting used to my new setup, that's all. So I've just glued the two sides there to turn this into a little, oops, a little belly band if I don't um, move it before it's had a chance to, to glue. Just uh, checking that it's straight-ish. <laughs> so as I say, I could have left that Happy Christmas sign, but I just feel like we might as well make this Christmas card into something useful. Um, I mean, you could have written in it, of course, but being like, um, you know, a sturdy page, we may as well put something in it. Oh, <laughs> I just realised. No wonder I liked the uh, the presents. It's because we've got presents front and back. No. <laughs> That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Um, so excuse me as I just uh, reach over um, because I made some uh, sewn snippets the other day, which we may want to use along here. Um, happy Christmas. I want quite a thin one that will fit on. That's a possibility. Happy. Oh, I like happy. Just want to just tear this side down a bit just because I felt like maybe it was a little bit of an odd shape. Just reach for my ink dobber. I'm trying not to ink too heavily in this journal, so I'm just doing little bits here and there. Okay, and then we can just pop that on. Just a simple, simple embellishment. I don't think it, it needs much, because that present paper is very fun. Oops. So these are the sewn snippets that I was trying to um, show you on a previous video. I didn't have time to sew them whilst the video was airing, but once I got set up with my new a new work area. I was able to then to get a few things sewn. Okay, that's that. Cute. As I say, I don't think it needs much. And then of course we can pop something in the belly band. Um, I'm not sure what I'm doing on the back there yet. Uh, that was just me covering the back of the Christmas card. Uh, but oh yes, that's what I was going to tell you. I changed my ideas for. The center of the signature. Um, I don't know if you remember from the last video but I originally had these uh, coloring book pages in the middle. Now my original thought was once you color them in it would be a riot of color in the middle. However until we get to that point it was a lot of black and white um, and then obviously this on the other side with these pockets. Um, so I actually decided not to have that and I decided to intersperse them within the signatures which I think looks much better. So, you know, we've got colour here and writing space and then you've got a pocket and stuff. It just worked a bit better. So instead I went for a bog standard uh, folded up scrapbooking uh, pockets. So lots of space there. So I just wanted to point that whilst um, that was in front of me. It's been about a week <laughs> since I filmed the last part. So I'm trying to remember um, what it was that I actually did. So you'll have to bear with me a moment. I'm just having a sip of tea. Okay, so this is the next part that we want to cover up. I um, don't know if you can see that, but I've got my uh, my name on the envelope. Um, now I have this cut out from a Christmas card, uh, which size-wise fits really nicely. And I felt like You've got the gold, or kind of gold, and the stars. A bit of blue. We could have this as a belly band, maybe. Um, I just want to cut this a bit better. Um, this was actually sent to me by my uh, stepmom. Uh, she had cut out a bunch of things from Christmas cards, bless her, to send to me, you know, for journaling. Um, so I just want to just 
trim that a little bit neater. Okay. Yeah, I think that would be nice. Um, so the question is, how on earth are we going to stick this down as a belly band? Um, we can put glue on the star and on the plant pot, the tree pot, um, and maybe a little bit at the top of the tree. So let's just um, see how we go. So let's get some glue on the star. Tell you what, I'll do the sort of the top top section of the tree. That should be plenty. I'm using the art glitter, so nice and strong. And then we can do the entire pot. That's about right, I've covered up my name. Just want to move it down a bit, I think. There we go. I think that was the, yeah, just covering up my name with something useful and pretty. So yeah, that's essentially how I do these types of journals. Um, you know, where I've used a hodgepodge of different things. Um, I just go through looking for the pages where I absolutely need to cover things before, you know, the journal is ready to sell type thing. Um, and then I'll go through and then add in like finer details and extra bits and bobs. But for now, that is, hopefully, once it's dry, a really fun tuck spot. I've no idea what would fit inside there. Um, that's going to be too big. So it would need to be something kind of like that sort of size. So I'm sure I've got something, but we'll um, we'll figure that out later. I just thought for this purposes of this video, you might like to see how I was going to decorate things. Yeah, I think that looks fun. I could even just stick it the whole way down, but I do think it's fun as a belly band. Um, this whole envelope is a pocket on the side. Um, I think I went through and changed some of the pages where, um, you know, I'd left tops of envelopes open. I decided to put things on the side because I felt like that would be a more usable space. Yep, I'm just checking that the uh, the tree, these bits isn't in the way and that looks to be folding fine. So uh, the next thing is I did think originally to cover this whole envelope um, on the back because we've got the envelope flap and we've got the sticker from you know when this was actually a, a Christmas card. Um, but I really like this red especially when you turn the page and you've got the red, red, red and green. It just looks really nice like this. So I didn't want to cover it with anything other than that colour. <laughs> um, so I thought instead, what would it be like if we were to add some kind of scrapbooking paper or something that would just cover up the part that we don't want to see? Um, now, I'm not suggesting that's the right colour, but... Um, that's what I'm looking for. So again, just going to rifle through my my scraps um, just to find things that might work colours wise. Possibly, maybe we want something a bit brighter. Let's see what we got. Um, that's too short. Just gonna pull out again, pull out a few things and just um, make a decision. I've got lots of scraps to choose from, so we are not we are not uh, we're not going to run out of anything. And I've got full sheets as well. Um, I would prefer to use scraps where possible. These little like off cuts from trimming pages and things. I would like to get those used, but you know it's not always doable, is it? To um, you know to use them for everything. Oops. I'm just going to see if I can get myself a little bit organised a bit better because I feel like I've just got a lot of stuff piled up next to me. So I'll just be two secs. Right, I think that's a bit better. Um, whilst I had you on pause, I also just cut these out uh, from some of my scraps. They're roughly two inches across um, and I've cut them slightly shorter than the envelope so we could have a nice border around. And I thought they might make nice, um, like a double side pocket. So I think we'll get the white one down first. 
So this one, I'm just going to do the top and the bottom um, so that it can be a bigger, a bigger pocket. Um, I just want to remember I want that nice red border in, so let's get that in the right place. So something like that. Obviously I'm not completely covering up the fact that this is an envelope. Um, and I'm okay with that, I don't mind things like that. I think it's kind of fun to, to know what it was uh, sometimes. Which way does this go? Possibly that way. Um, and I think we probably want a, a border where the spine is as well. Again, I quite like that red, lots of red. <laughs> so uh, this one we'll do on three sides. And this will act as the bottom of its own pocket, oops, and also be the uh, the bottom of the other pocket. So again, just aiming for a nice border. There we go. So as you can see, I'm doing very simple embellishments at this point. Um, nothing, you know awfully fancy um, eventually we'll get to go in with some other bits and bobs but um, for now you know it's a good way to use up scraps to just get these fun pockets in and we can always you know add further embellishments later once we're once we're ready Oops. Just, I'm gluing that slightly on a, a ridge so just get my finger in there Okay, so there we go. So we've got a nice big one down the back and then we've got the smaller one in the front. So I think that looks nice. As I say, I just really didn't want to lose all of that colour and and everything. And, um, you know, the red is reflected on both sides and I really liked it together with that. But yeah, I think I'm happy with that. So I'm going to keep going. So this is one of the fold outs, so I decided to keep this as a writing spot, um, you know, rather than it be a, a small pocket or something. Um, all I did do is I cut the this part of it down slightly so it wasn't so in the spine to make it easier to open. Um, but of course we want to cover up this, and for that again we can use some scraps. Um, I'm just conscious of, you can see this here. Um, but I think the two reds go quite nicely, so I'm just going to cut off that circle bit, and that is just the size that I need as well. So let's And again, I'm going to use that as a, or I'm going to glue it as a side tuck, um, or a side pocket. Even if I don't fill it, the option is there for somebody else. Okay. Again, I'm just moving it in like an eighth of an inch from the spine just so that it doesn't cause any problems there. This isn't massively thick paper either, so just okay for this. Oops. Just make sure it's straight. There we go, so we've got... Oh, <laughs> let it dry, Justine. We've got a side pocket and that looks fine. You can see the red through and that looks just fine. Okay, so I think we're in the next signature now. So again, I'm just going through checking for where I've got things that I really want to cover up. Um, this, I did think I would originally cover these up. You know what? I kind of like them. Um, this is, um, it was from a colouring book. So you had the colouring page on one side and you had, essentially you would colour in and then make like, in this case, a, a, a pillow box or something. 
I just kind of like it. I think it is really fun. So I'm actually going to leave it for now. <laughs> I may change my mind later, but for now, I actually quite like them. So I'm just going through, uh, what's this? Oh, this is the, the one with my, my um, address on. So I'm just going to hit pause whilst I find the right thing um, and then I'll show you how that looks. Okay, I'm back. Um, I had this pocket that I made in Tina's Mass Makes. Uh, it's just a coin envelope, uh, which I've stuck all the way down and then there's just space inside for something thin. Um, I don't know. I've got this, the postage marking. I feel like I should cover it up. But truth be told, I actually quite like it. So I'm not going to cover it up just yet and I will come back to it. But I've covered up my address which is the main thing and this is just matted on the back. Uh, again, I quite like that on the back, it's just unique and different. So I think that is the last page um, that of things that needed to be uh, covered up. Need to get some more glue on there I think. Um, so we've covered up the important bits now. So now we want to start thinking about some fun things, I guess. I'll do the ruffles and stuff off, off screen because um, that's just, yeah, gluing those down. Um, I need some like embellishments here. Um, I do have these twinchy sliders, which... Not quite work for there, so I'll leave that. Oh, I've got this, haven't I? Um, so my thoughts for this was, this could have been a pocket um, so that we're not covering up the clock. The only downside is this is, it's not the thickest paper, it's only the book page. Um, I'm just trying to decide whether to um, make it a writing spot or to have it as a pocket. Um, but I don't want to use anything heavy, so I'll have to come back to it. Right, um, let's think about these music sheets. So I had them folded over because I thought they could be, you know, pockets and tuck spots and things. Um, but I don't want all of them to be pockets. I think some of them could be written on. So we've got that one. Let me just look at the other side. I've got this one. So I think we'll have this one be the pocket because um, we've got some writing there anyway. It's pencil, which I could just rub it out, but um, I think we'll put that one as a pocket and this one I'll just clip a paper clip on the side and that can be a writing spot because there's space to write here and you know to put a photo or something so um, let's go to the other side here we are so first thing is I'm going to just glue up the sides of this music sheet just top and bottom a little bit dark in here. <laughs> it uh, feels like the sun has set but I feel like it's only three in the afternoon. I don't think we're quite at that levels yet are we but I suppose it's probably gonna chuck it down with the rain in a minute. I'm just getting rid of the pencil markings that we can still see. What are we going to put along here? So we could put all sorts down here. Uh, we could put some scrapbooking paper. We could do a Santa ribbon, which would be really fun. Um, let me look at the music sheet because I've only got a little bit of that left. So I just want to look at the music sheets in the other part because if there's a Santa nearby, 
I would rather keep the centre ribbon with the centre. <laughs> Yeah, that would probably be the, yeah, I suppose that couldn't be the writing spot because of what's underneath. You can see <laughs> his bum poking out. Um, so, mm -hmm. I think I'd prefer it here. And perhaps I could stick that down as a belly band. So if I'm sensible about where I cut it, I might be able to use this again, as I do really like it as an, as an embellishment. So I'm just going to hold that there and cut it here. I'm just going to cut it a little bit longer than what I think, just in case. Yeah, there you are. That's another strip for another page. So. So let's get that stuck down and then I'll just cut off the, the excess. Uh, I'm going to use the fabric tag for this because it's the you know, fabric ribbon. Oops. It's not going to hold anything you know, particularly heavy or anything, not like a journal card, but it might hold um, some nice note paper or something. So it's, uh, sorry if you can see my head. <laughs> I'm just uh, trying to see, see the top of my book. There we are. The good thing with the music sheet is we've got, um, we've got sort of a straight-ish line to follow she says. <laughs> That's right. Just trying to have a peek. Okay, excuse me with the elbows, just chuck, cut a little bit off. There, got it. <laughs> that looks really fun, doesn't it? So, I'll be able to pop a little something in there. Um, oh, no. <laughs> oh, I'm terrible at letting things dry. <laughs> I'm always trying to move things before they're ready to be moved. Silly me. Right. Let's just <laughs> give that a press down. <laughs> oh, I'm always doing that. Still haven't learnt to give glue. Just give it a moment, like, impatient or what? Okay, right, <laughs> I'll leave that. Yeah, that looks really fun, I like that. Okay, uh, so then the other side of the music sheet we said we would have a paper clip, so I've got plenty of those, let's see what we want. I'm wondering whether to do one of these, um, uh, banner paper clips. So I'm just pulling them out. Um, I know I'm reaching across you, but I've got um my new my new setup is uh I've got like a tray in front of me that keeps all my my bits and bobs in. Is that all the paper clips? I've got another one. But I'm just gonna have to stand up because I can't actually see. about that I just wanted to make sure I could see them all so paper clips um now we've got this sort of green on this side so I do want to take that into consideration so I've got this sort of fun bow um got these probably not the Santa ribbon this time So maybe the green or the, let's go with the green. I can always change my mind, can't I? So that, oh, 
if we got one going the right way. I think that's that way. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, that's the wrong way round. It's the only trouble with making things in advance, isn't it? Got this one. feeling it. I've got this like banner one which has got a green bow on. So we could have that maybe sticking out of the side. I could always chop it down because it's going to stick out the front of the book so maybe. I'll, I'll pop that there for now. I'm probably going to change my mind. <laughs> To be fair, this is why I don't really embellish um, on video because I'm always, I'm changing my mind, forever changing my mind. Something like that. Uh, so then we want to go to the music sheets in the other signature. Let's see what we want to do with those. So this is the pocket side, isn't it? So let's glue that down. Um, and the only reason for that is because of the, the chunky pocket underneath. Uh, these journals are going to have writing boards with them, but um, even so, they uh, you know, I don't want it to be that you have to use a writing board. Okay, so we've got the pocket there. Cool. So we need to, I mean, I do have more of the Santa ribbon. So we could just make it be the same as the first signature. Keeps it nice and easy, doesn't it? Let's do it. Right, um, let me get this to be the right-ish size. Below that circle. And I've got a little bit left over for an embellishment piece. Okay. I appreciate this is not going to be the most exciting video. Um, and I'm not really embellishing anything yet. Um, I just want to get uh, like my pockets in and things. But we will move on to some some different pages in a moment. I just um I like to move my way through the book in this sort of way, you know, where you're covering up things that you have to cover up, and you're doing things that you you know you know that are going to be pockets or fold over tuck spots or whatever. And the reason I do that is because, could you imagine if you had started from the beginning, working your way through from page to page, um, and I do this all the time, by the way, <laughs> uh, putting things in just where you want them to be, all the rest of it, and the journal chunks up just too much, and you, you then have no room for the, the, the pieces that you, you know you have to cover up. Um, it's, yeah... <laughs> it's not a good feeling, trust me. So now I go very consciously with um, not not being so linear in going page to page and being a bit more, um, maybe a bit higgledy-piggledy to watch, but it's uh, I think it's important to remind yourself to um, distribute the bulk and the weight and all the rest of it. Right. So I'm just trying to get this, <laughs> this Santa ribbon. I think it had a kink in it. So. There we go. But we will do some more interesting things in a minute. There we go. 
has that. Get my fluff all over my desk. Okay, so I've done that as a belly band again. I may very well just glue them all the way down, but at least for now, um, I can make that decision later. Once I see how bulky they get. Okay, so we've done that, and then we want um, a paper clip for the other side, because that's going to be the this fold out bit. Um, so again, for now, I'll just shove this in there, and then um, it's really just a placeholder to me to say um, I need to I need to find the right paper clip. Um, um, dm dm. Just looking at this pocket and thinking, could we put the sliders along here? Because they were supposed to be four pockets. They're a bit small though, aren't they? But they do centre very nicely. Let's see how we feel about the one on the other side. This one. Yeah, we've got the green there, look. So let's get those stuck down, might as well whilst we're here. Right, so I deliberately made these too long, uh, the ribbons, because I didn't know where I was going to need to cut them. So I'm just going to gauge it based on where the Merry Christmas words are, because I don't want to, you know, cut through those unnecessarily. So that's my straight line-ish. So then we want to cut just there. Okay. So then we would have, have that about there. Yeah, definitely in the middle. Yeah, I think so. So again, I'm going to use the um, fabric tack. I hope this video isn't being too long. Um, I sort of paused it at one point and now I can't remember how long I've been on for. Uh, so with these, these are the twinchy sliders that we made. Um, I'm just doing dobs of glue on <laughs> either end of the uh, ribbon so that the slider can move between the dobs of glue basically. Okay. Be careful with the Fabri-Tac, sometimes it can um, like gloop out everywhere. There you go, you can move between those glue marks. I don't know if anyone will want to move it around, but the option is there if they do. <laughs> Cute, yep. Just want to... Make sure that's down where it needs to be. Give it a bit of a bit of a stretch. That's better. And then same on the other side. So again, if we look to where our Merry Christmas is. Oops. Of course, if you didn't have words on your ribbon, you could just cut it wherever you like. So it looks to be out there. And of course I'll keep off keep the off, off cuts. We can make um, clusters and other embellishments with those. <laughs> this is just too fun. I love fun fun silly things I think is the is the answer but yeah they're so just fun and silly isn't it? And uh, well, and then the next thing that I want to do is start looking at some of this ephemera that I've made. Um, like, you know, more interesting things than just um, plain scrapbook paper pockets. Uh, yeah, I want to look at some of those. 
get some of those in. So I'm just giving the ribbon a bit of a stretch so it's not baggy. Making sure clean up any glue that wants to spurt out. Always the way, isn't it? Okay. Too fun. And even if even just as a decoration without the slider thing, it still looks looks great. Okay. So let's see how we're doing size wise. Oh yeah, perfectly fine, loads of room. And that's why I'm being, you know, cautious, I guess, um, because I'm making sure that um, I don't want it to be a chunky beast and then want the weight distributed. Right, I still don't know what to do about that, do I? Um, I'll come back to it. So I'm just going to have a rifle through my uh, made ephemera, you know, the bits and bobs that I've made on, on video. I'm just going to see if there's some things that we can um, pop in just for the, the remainder of the video. So I'll be back in two secs. Okay, so I've had a little look and I've got these pocket um, flip up writing spot things. I thought that could be nice there. It says with love at Christmas and then you've got the nice family together. Colours wise I think goes nicely too. So we want to just glue the two, two sides. And that certainly won't be it, um, but I just need to keep going through the journal as I have been with you. Um, and yeah, I'll probably do the rest off, off screen because it's not the most exciting video to watch. <laughs> um, and I still have a lot of embellishments. I don't really like to embellish things, like, you know, things that need embellishing. I don't really like to do it until I've filled the pockets. Because I actually find that helps me decide what I want to have. Um, stuff like this I don't need to because the paper itself is, you know, embellished nicely. Okay, so we've got a pocket there and a little riding spot. Nice big tag or journal card to go in there. Um, I still don't know <laughs> what I'm going to cover that with. I feel like I do need to cover it even though I like it. The reason I say that is because when you turn the page, I don't like it on its own, but I do like it with the pocket, so, you know, I'm weird like that. <laughs> um, I am going to need to make some more paper clips, I think, um, because stuff like this, I probably want to just clip things in. So, if we can slide that into the envelope, I wonder. Have that there. The Santa and Santa, maybe. We'll see how I feel once I've actually got stuff in in there. Um, so I don't want to glue things down on both sides of this. Um, partly because you know people are going to be buying these journals. They might want to put a photo there. They might want to put a writing spot. So what I am going to do is glue something down on one of the sides and then the other side I'm just going to clip something in so I think I'll put this here I like that for colours and I think, yes I did, I made the Santa ribbon a bit of a tuck spot as well it's a belly band so this is again another one of the coin envelope mass makes so do I glue this down all the way or do I make this into a tuck spot? Obviously it's a, it's a pocket in itself. I think I'll glue it as a tuck spot. So I want to glue this, these two sides I think. Um, and then I don't have to put something in but somebody can. I might very well put something in it too, I don't know. <laughs> I'll see. I'll have to see. That'll be the next job is to go through and fill all of the pockets so again I can see how, how bulky things get. I do 
you know, I know it's not very exciting to watch. Um, that's why I only like to do one video like this, because I do move through the journal in a weird, hinky way. <laughs> you know, this way, this way, this way, this way. And then I do it in stages where, you know, I get things down that I think would look good. So we've got a tuck spot, a pocket inside and the belly band. So yeah, I, I pop things down where I think that I I should put them. Um, uh, but I like to, yeah, I like to distribute the bulk as best I can anyway. Um, so I do like to do it in stages to make sure I am happy as I go. Because the last thing I want to do is stick all these pockets down and then when I come to fill them, not have enough room for all the filling that I want to do. Um, and all the journal cards and things, so... And I don't, yeah, I don't think that would be very exciting to watch. Okay, so for this one, again, um, I could have stuck something down here. Um, but I actually think I'm going to clip this on. This is a uh, one of the paper clips. Um, I made these off screen, but I did make a secret garden version. Um, this was ju me just testing out the idea of it having this little little pocket in it. Um, and then whatever goes in this belly band, I'll use that to hold it, hold it in place. I think that's what I did in the other journal. Um, and then same, same deal here. I think I should have uh, one thing on the one side and then just something clipped on the other. Because you can actually write on this as well. Um, but I know, you know, if somebody was going to use this as a December daily probably going to want quite a few pockets. Now the other question I have, do I stick this down all the way or do I make this into a belly band? I think I'll do it as a belly band and then even if it's not used as one we've got the options. I'm just gonna put you know quite a few layers of glue, uh, lines of glue just um, because it is you know it's a bit of a chunky piece so be glued down well and then we can maybe put something something in it as a belly band it's nicely framed there actually obviously I made these pieces before I had the journal so um I made things in all different sizes not really sure what sizes to do um, but it seems to be working out all right actually so far Things are fitting nice, I think. There we go. So we've got a belly band and the side tuck there. Right, let's um, pop my glue away. So there is obviously plenty more to do, but I will just give you a little look at where we're at with this one then. Oh yeah, that's um, chunking up nicely. But it feels, but the main thing is it feels balanced as well. It doesn't feel like one signature is much bigger than the other and um, there is bulk at the top as well as the bottom where we've put paper clips in and things so obviously I might change what paper clips but you know. So as I say we're going to have this and a ruffle so that'll be that. I don't know about this yet, I don't know if I'm leaving that as is. I was thinking I might put a sticker that says this book belongs to because we got rid of it from the original golden book. So that might be nice. I need to decorate this up, but I don't know. As I say, I want to fill pockets before I, I decide. So I'll just give you a, a little... This, I think I'm going to make this a journal spot um, just because it is only thin paper and we've got a pocket here. So, um, and then also on top of that, uh, these pieces are writing spots. So I'm probably just going to put just a strip of something. I just don't know what yet, but some kind of writing spot. Colouring book pages. I kept the bells in the end. <laughs> so yeah, we can tuck something in there. Nice big pocket here. Um, I decided to make all of these... Uh, we did the tip-ins in the last video. I decided to make all of these into uh, big side pockets so we can fit, you know, nice big things in there. I'll tell you what, I've got this. Um, 
So this came in the post. Uh, it was actually a great big like leaflet, but this was the cutout in the middle. Um, obviously I cut it out myself, but I backed it onto some card and I thought I could perhaps cover this up where it says postie please stop here and have Santa please stop here or something and then just cover up the Royal Mail sign. Um, so I was just thinking um, if there's an option to, oops, looking for a paper clip. I might have this here, you see, maybe. Just pop it there for now so I remember to use it. But I thought that would be really nice for this one. Yeah, still need to decorate the middle. But again, I like to wait until I've got things in pockets first. Just checking things are straight. <laughs> and then we've got the centre belly band and the side tuck. Another belly band there and a little paper clip pocket. <clears throat> Colouring page. Um, so these pockets, I'm filling these with um, just a uh, large scrapbook large tags that are made from scrapbook paper. That's all I'm doing with those. So we've got the belly band that we did. <laughs> that does look fun, doesn't it? This is obviously open on the side. We've got our two pockets here, which I have no idea how to decorate them, if I'm honest. Maybe just some lace or something. Um, you know, if you had, I don't have anything on my desk. If you could have some lace along the edges, that might just be enough. Shall we see? Um, I'm just um, I'm not saying I would use this one, but I just want to see what that would be like. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Maybe we'll do something like that. Um, <laughs> those reindeer's fun. Oh, I'm so glad we kept that page together. Got a tuck spot there, um, which again probably wants some kind of decoration. I have no idea what to put on this, if anything. I might put another paper clip. Um, got this one. Got a Santa one because we've got Santa there, just to keep it closed. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, we've got this one. That might be fun. Let's try that one. I think this one will stick out of the book though, so I don't know how how I feel about that, but I got the bow and the bow. <laughs> maybe, I don't know. <laughs> maybe not. It's a pretty embellishment though, but yeah, probably not for there. Somewhere else maybe. I don't know what I'm doing on the back of here yet. I want to wait until I've got the ruffles on because I'm going to have ruffles along both of the fronts and the backs of the signatures. There's our twinkly slider. Make sure it works, yeah? <laughs> that is so fun. That will keep me amused for hours, that would. <laughs> That's just me though. Um, another pocket to fill and the writing spot. So we stuck this down as a tuck spot and then we've got the pocket and the belly band so lots of things going on there. Bit of decoration needed in the middle. I'm just going to clip something on. Just see. It looks quite nice doesn't it? Maybe. Or um... was the other page that we had? Um, got this pink page. Quite like it on that. Subject to change my mind, as always. Nice colouring book, front and back. Something clipped in there because I didn't want to cover up the presents because I liked the presents with the centre. And I kept this because I liked the border, I liked the colours. So I kept it as a the envelope border, you know. I still really need to think what on earth I'm going to put there. I just don't know. I need to put something there, but I just don't know what it is. I did think about maybe 
you know, I've got these little like cluster things. Um, but they only take up a certain amount of room. I've still got this bit here. So need to put my thinking cap on. So again, we've got side tuck and the belly band. We've got a pocket and our flip up writing spot. And big pocket there. And we've got our twinchy. Very nice. So yeah, that's um, that's all I'm going to do for this video. So um, thanks so much for joining me. Um, obviously, I still need to do a lot more in the journal, but I thought I would just show you what I've been doing for some of the pages, so you'd get a good idea. Um, and yeah, thanks for keeping me company as I did that. And uh, I'll see you on the next video, which uh, for this particular journal and the other golden book will be the flip through. Um, as I say, I'm just going to go through, add some more pockets, add some ruffles, embellishments and various bits and bobs. And uh, you'll see it on the flip through. So thanks so much and I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye for now.